Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, welcome to this week's vlog. This week's vlog is number four. Um, didn't do one last week because last week was flea week. Flea went really well. Um, but now, yeah, flea's over and it's on to midsummers. Um, this week is the week beginning Monday 1st of February to Friday the 5th of February. Um, yeah, as I say, flea is now over. So the long hair has gone. Yes. Right. Uh, anyway, um, on with this week's vlog. Okay. So Monday's lesson, Monday morning, we had our lesson with the year two dramas. Um, we looked at dramatic devices and cliches, just to recap on what they'd learnt last week when we were in Flea. So yeah, the main cliches that really shouldn't be used at drama at our level unless you're doing shows for specific audiences such as children are time travel um, because that just gets a bit boring and predictable um, talk shows like GCC everybody just goes oh let's do a talk show because it shows all the information no be more creative simple um, and dream sequences is another one dream sequences just to wake up at the end of to do a show which is brilliant and then wake up at the end of it and go Oh, and it was all a dream. Yeah, that can just... Jog on. Yeah, so then we looked at um, being gullible and oxymorons and pathos and um, anticlimaxes. And we had to do our own little piece on um, something where a situation, someone was being gullible and um, we could even lay in an oxymoron or something in there as well. So we looked at the idea of um, sales patter and shop assistants. Uh, I had Jordan, um, Hannah and Sam in my group. And um, yeah, I was the slightly effeminate cashier who was trying to get them to buy all the half price fragrances and loyalty cards and everything that you'd get in one of them usual beauty stores. Um, yeah, so that went really well. Our oxymoron was stupidly clever because Jordan was the gullible one that basically read into everything and bought everything that we basically offered her. But at the same time, the reason she was in there was because she was getting supplies and makeup for her graduation from Oxford. So therefore, she is stupidly clever. Yeah, uh, clever oxymoron that one. Um, Monday afternoon, we had directed study so I just learnt a lot more of the Midsummer script. Okay so Tuesday, um, Tuesday morning we had directed study, um, unfortunately we went in the directed study room because Stuart has gone and taken the phrase break a leg too seriously. Yeah, get what I'm saying. Um, so I was learning more of the Midsummer script. Um, to be honest, in direct study sessions to come, I'll probably just learn Midsummer script unless there's definite work that needs to be done. Um, yeah, Tuesday afternoon, we had our work in progress presentations in which we um, filmed for the UAL everything that we have done so far. So we filmed, um, what did we film? We filmed Art of Noise, Moments in Love, Dance to my monologue that begins, I pray thee give it me. I know a bank where a wild time blows. Yep. Um, what else did we film? We filmed the harmonies for No More Lonely Nights by Paul McCartney. And we filmed, oh yeah, uh, Back to Reality by Soul to Soul. Um, all the choreography and singing that we had done for that. So that's all on film. Um, they can be seen on the WordPress, on this WordPress account, um, and there's evaluation for that afternoon as well. Um, and then the tech team said a bit about what they're doing at the minute, like poster design and working out lights and trees and set and everything. So yeah, altogether the work in progress presentations went really well, and they can be seen on the blog. Okay, uh, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning we had directed study, um, I learnt some more of the script and then when one of the MacBooks became available I then uploaded the mid-season presentation that we did yesterday, Tuesday, and the evaluation to WordPress. 
So yeah, that was Direct to Study on Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon we had our usual lesson with the MTs. Um, in that we looked at the monologues that we'll be doing for the next Spotlight, which we are predicting is possibly going to be on Monday. Um, great. No, um, yeah, we're predicting that it's going to be on Monday and the Gary and Lynn and everybody want to see our Shakespeare monologue and our contemporary monologue. So, I mean, the Shakespeare monologue is fairly well cemented. I just need to learn the last few lines of that. Um, that's the Henry IV Part One monologue, which I've said about for the last probably four blogs. Um, but it's a brilliant monologue and I absolutely love it and I'll get it learned and we'll do it in the spotlight. Um, but the contemporary monologue, I was originally going to do the Our Country Good one. I've since changed that decision um, because I found a more recent um, monologue. It's Serge's final monologue from the play Art by Yasmina Reza. Um, it was originally a French play written in 1994, um, but then it was translated into English in 1996 and won a Tony Award in 98. So yeah, and it's under 20 years old, so it's a definitely a modern contemporary piece. Um, yeah, art is basically the story of Serge, my character, who has bought a white canvas for 200,000 francs and um, throughout the performance um, his two friends Mark and Ivan um, have their friendship tested with him because he's bought such a weird canvas for such an amount of money. Um, in the end they all get pretty pissed off of it and draw a massive skier on it to just show how crap it is and how poor judgement he's bought this canvas for. Um, and then my final monologue is the one where at the end when they've all resolved their issues and they've actually wiped the skier back off it because they've realised that, to be honest, if he wants to have it, then it's his fault slash problem slash pride. Um, yeah, so that's that monologue. That will be performed in the spotlight checks that are most likely going to be on Monday. Thursday's lesson was our usual Shakespeare lesson in the morning. Um, we looked at modern verbs and pronouns compared to Shakespearean. So, whereas now we have the first, second and third um, pronouns I, you and he and she, or we, you and they, um, in Shakespearean times they had I and thou. So I was obviously the same, but instead of you, you said thou. Um, and yeah, so we looked at that really. So in terms of like in the phrase, I like pizza, um, I is the subject, pizza is the object, and like is the verb. So you have I like, I like pizza, you like pizza, he likes pizza, she likes pizza. Um, in Shakespearean times, they would have I do like pizza. Thou do like pizza, and I and he doth like pizza. Um, they missed out on pizza in Shakespearean times. Poor them. It's good. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we then looked at the modern translations of our Shakespearean monologues, just so that we could kind of get a feel to everything. So I have the modern translation of mine here. Um, really, my the modern translation of the Henry IV one is as follows. Um, I know all of you, and for a bit longer I will lock about, but we'll have to eventually grow up and act like royalty. Um, in doing this, I will act like the sun and burst through the clouds when I've made them wait and they need a king. When I finally burst out as king, everyone will love me. Everyone thinks I'm in this trap but I'm doing it on purpose. So basically he's deliberately messing up his life and going out and drinking and shagging women because then when he becomes king, everybody's gonna think he's reformed. Um, if every day was Christmas, then it wouldn't be special. But it's good when you get a day off. When they ask for me, they will get me. So when I finally become king, even though I didn't ask for it, I'm gonna milk it until that day comes. Um, I'll shine above everyone and reform myself compared to my past life. Um, I'm going to go mental and do everything I shouldn't, slash get drunk, slash whatever, um, so that when I do become king, I look like a god to the people. Yeah, so that's really the monologue. Bit arrogant, really. Turns out he was just using all his friends. But he becomes king in the end, so it works. Yeah, um, we then looked at possible other monologues. Um, so 
the other monologues that I could possibly do were um, Ferdinand from The Tempest would be a nice one. Um, Oberon from Midsummer Night's Dream, which is always handy because I'm learning that anyway for Midsummers. Um, the the Dukes from King Lear, uh, the Duke of Burgundy, and um, from Romeo and Juliet, not necessarily Romeo because that's a bit predictable, but um, Tybalt or Martuccio. So yeah, they're the main um, monologues that I could also look into for the second monologue. Really. Also on in Seasons Week this week. Um, after the general day is finished at three o'clock, um, I've been learning a lot of the script. Um, Tuesday we were supposed to be blocking section five, but didn't because it was dance company. for that so we couldn't block section 5 um, so we actually blocked section 5 on Thursday and um, looked at Joy Division and learnt the harmonies for Love Will Tear Us Apart I found out that I will be doing the first verse of Love Will Tear Us Apart as a solo and um, yes yeah, so that's all going really well and we've learnt the dance to step on as well um, those can all be found I think they're on YouTube, so if they're on YouTube, I will add them to the WordPress. Yeah, so that was Seasons this week. Okay, so that's the end of this week's vlog. Um, thank you very much for watching. As I say every week, the vlogs have a different 80s theme. Um, this week has been the year 1984. Uh, the reason I picked 1984 was because 1984, in June 1984, um, in the NBA draft, Michael Jordan, who is my idol and always will be, um, was picked by the Chicago Bulls in the NBA draft and went on to be just one of, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. Um, yeah, hence the reason I'm wearing the number 23 Bulls jersey. And in the background, you have heard songs from the top 100 of 1984, um, including songs by Nick Kershaw, Frank Goes to Hollywood, and Howard Jones. Yeah, so um, thanks very much for watching. Hope you had a good week. Cheers. Oh, and if you haven't, um, like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. We came, we saw, we kicked his ass.